Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here. Okay, I know I haven't seen you guys for a while, um, but like your girl was busy, okay? I was busy. Today, I've decided to film myself washing my hair in braids. It's a new technique that I've been trying out and I find that it's really helpful. Let's list all the advantages. So there's minimized tangles. It's a lot quicker than washing your hair when it's out. You have better access to your roots and yeah, that's it. Less headaches, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, join me on the process. Let's go. All right, so first thing you wanna do is saturate your hair as much as possible with water um, so that you create more of a lather when you put the shampoo in. So just be mindful of the temperature of the water when you're rinsing your hair. Um, just make sure it's not too hot or too cold. You wanna aim for lukewarm. So now we're moving on to the shampoo process. I am using the Afog Protein Shampoo. I forgot the full name, but it's a protein shampoo. Make sure you get a real good lather. Um, go in between the braids. Make sure you access those roots. Um, and disperse the shampoo over the length of the braids as well, not just the roots. So obviously after you apply the shampoo, you have to rinse it out. I find it's helpful to squeeze the shampoo out of my hair as it gets it out of the braids that much easier. Okay, so now that we have it all rinsed out, we're moving on to the deep conditioner. This is the Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. Um, it is a moisturizing slash protein deep conditioner and as you can see I am applying it to the ends of my hair and slowly working my way up. So listen to me and listen to me good. Do not forget those edges, okay? Whether they're in the front or the back, do not forget those edges. Alright, you need to deep condition your edges and the rest of your hair. Don't forget. All right, so we are all done rinsing our hair out. As you can see, it's just in my little t-shirt here. This is what I do after my shower, just to dry my hair out. Not completely, obviously, because it's still damp. Onto the styling process. So I'm gonna use my Stay Soft Fro, just to give my hair a nice little moisturized base. And then I'm going to use my other moisturized base, JBCO Strength and Leave-In Conditioner from Shea Moisture. I think this is probably the only styling Shea Moisture product that works for me. Like I still use Shea Moisture conditioners, like the protein one that I used in the shower just now. But in terms of the styling products, I feel like only this one works for my type 4 hair. I don't know if other type 4 girls agree, but you can try it out. I'm going to use my styler, which is kind of like a hair jelly. It has aloe in it, which is really good for my high porosity hair. So I'm going to use that as my styler, but it's kind of almost done. So I might just have to opt for my one of my other gels, but that's no problem. And then I got my avocado oil in here just to seal my actual hair. Since I'm on a hair growth journey, I know this is extra stuff or whatever, and this is totally optional for you, but for my roots, I'm going to use my Sulfur 8 Do Grow Mixture. I know I was supposed to post a Sulfur 8 Do Grow update a while ago, but like I said, I got my hair straightened and I got it trimmed too, so it's like I'm kind of starting from an inch shorter than what I was in my my last Sulfur update group. Uh, I can't even speak. I'm kind of an inch shorter than I was from when I posted my last Sulfur 8 Do Grow video. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to show accurate results based on that because I'm, I'm starting from an inch shorter now, right? So it's okay. But anywho, I'm still using this. I'm just gonna use it till it runs out pretty much. And when I post the update, I post the update. I can't, I can't make any promises, okay? <laughs> when I post it, I post it. But I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> See what I did there? Sorry. So that's all for today. I'm just gonna go ahead and style and this is probably the best part of the wash day process when I actually get to watch my little movies and catch up on my little Netflix TV shows because I have all the time in the world now. Catch you guys in the next video and always remember natural hair grows. Don't you forget it. Bye. Oh, 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 the pretty girl.